In this video tutorial we're going to show you how to embed HTML5 animations within a page of your publication. We're going to be working within the interactive panel in the design tab of the 3D issue software. Firstly select the page you wish to work with. This embedded animation will allow you to define the exact area on the page where you want the animation to play from. Use the browser to locate the animation file of choice. In this field you may select the location of the folder containing the animation files or simply enter the URL of the web page containing the HTML5 animation files. With this feature you also have the added option of placing a poster file on the page. It's going to act as a graphic cover of the animation pane whilst it's inactive on the page. The system will copy that media file across to the digital publication. We're going to insert both the local media folder and also a link to the web-based HTML animation for the purpose of this demonstration. For further information on the advanced settings for rollover, size and position of this feature, please refer to the GoToPage video tutorial. All media objects now have advanced settings too. You can learn more about these in the video tutorial on how to insert flash animation. Let's now review some of the key changes we have applied. Let's first review the animation we copied across to our publication. And now let's look at the animation which was linked to from a website. Note the poster files we used in both examples whilst the animations are inactive. In the HTML5 version of the finished 3D issue publication, the embedded animation will appear as part of the page. The user defines the width, height, x and y coordinates. In the Flash version of the finished 3D issue publication, the user will also see a black pane. But when the user clicks on it, it behaves like a button or a hotspot and opens up a pop-up panel. The reason for the different behaviour between Flash and HTML5 versions is down to restrictions within iframes in Flash. And this concludes this module on embedding HTML5 animations within a page of your publication.